What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's edition of Free Tool Friday. My name is Tyler S. Clark, the humble leader of the proactive accountants community, if not somewhat overjetic at times, because I'm so excited about what I'm about to share with you. And the free tool we are covering today is Google Alerts. Google Alerts is a free tool that you can use to set up to make sure that you are monitoring the internet for free for when you maybe happen to get mentioned. Now, you want to increase the frequency in which you do get mentioned, in which you are spreading your message into the market so that people are starting to talk about you a little bit. Now, that, of course, is inside of the Create Your Dream Firm program, how to achieve that level of, we'll just call it proliferation. But for right now, I want to make sure you get this tool set up because it's a one-time setup. It's super straightforward. It's super easy. You probably don't even need a guide for, to be able to do it, but I want to call attention to it. Get it set up once, you let it keep running, and ultimately you reap the benefits associated with it. Let me explain to you what I mean, but let me also show you, I think, some of the shortcomings associated with this that I think you'll need to be aware of because it's not a catch-all, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and dive right in and just drop, as always, comments down below. Hashtag FTF, if you love Free Tool Friday, means the world to me. So let's go ahead and dive on in. I'm going to share my screen in just one second. And let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so essentially, you go to Google, imagine that you're going to type in Google Alerts, and then you're just going to click on where it says Google Alerts right at the top, keeping it straightforward, pretty simple. When you open up Google Alerts, you're going to see some of the alerts that I already created. Now, a precursor to this is you should be signed in to your Google account, assuming you have one. And that basically just means you have a Gmail account. If you have a YouTube account, Gmail account, they're usually all the same exact thing. It's whatever your Gmail address is. I'm a big fan of G Suite. Of course, you don't have to use G Suite. But the idea here is that you can create alerts about really anything, anything really at all. And so what's cool about this is, yeah, you can set them for yourself. But if you want to set them for your industry, if you want to set them for potentially some competition, if you want to set them for maybe even people who are, you know, you won't necessarily maybe consider them competition, but people you look up to, this is a good way to be able to do this. However, so let me give you an example. Um, we could type in something here, like I've got my name in here. Well, maybe if uh, Marine Laurent comes up, I'd like to get alerts on this. Now it's going to show me an alert preview of what this might look like. Now, needless to say, Marine Laurent is a pretty common name. Although, you know, there will be only one true Marine Laurent soon. That, of course, is my, my fiance and business partner, uh, co-founder of Dream Firms. But the idea here is that I could be able to set an alert for this if I wanted to, right? But at the same time, maybe I will set an alert for something more related to, let me see if I can even do this. Let's just see if I can do something specific to my industry, marketing for accountants. Can I set an alert for that? Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if I put it in quotes, does that change how Google Alerts works? It does. So this is important to be aware of. You can choose to use the Boolean search parameters that I imagine are applicable to Google when you go to search something. You put something in quotes, it will specifically search for exclusively these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, well, before I do that, let me go ahead and look at this alert here, right? Like, let's look at how, uh, I'm sorry, the options for this particular alert. How often? At once, most, at most once a day. Okay. As it happens, that's probably a little aggressive. Sources, automatic. Yeah, I'll just take all of that. Language, any region. Okay. Only the best results. And then deliver the results to Tyler at adcountants.com. That's of course my previous email address. No, it's Tyler at Dream Firms now. If you want to message me, join Create Your Dream Firm program. That's what's up. Come hang out. Point is, I'll go ahead and hit create this alert. Now you would put maybe your niche, right? Whatever your niche is, you could say, uh, you know, uh, cannabis for accountants, right? Or uh, uh, accounting cannabis rules or regulations. And so you'll set whatever those parameters are. And of course, you can put really anything in here. And then what it'll do is that when there is new information about this term that comes to light, it will give it to you in your email inbox. 
it will just like feed it to you and say, hey, here's here are these things about this topic that I think you're interested in. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to just see if I can bring up my past Google alerts in my inbox because I'm curious to see if I can just show you what that looks like. Okay, I can. So here you go. Uh, well, this, so this is what I meet, meant earlier on when it's not a perfect tool, okay? So this is the Google alert for Tyler Clark. New lead could help detectives find suspect in Pawtucket hit and run that injured skateboarder, right? Um, that wasn't me. I feel very bad for this uh, variation of Tyler Clark. He got, sounds like he got injured in a hit and run, but this isn't necessarily specifically for me. So there will be a decent amount of things that will come through for your particular name that probably won't matter a whole lot. However, there's also a gap in this that I want to make you aware of that a lot of people would use Google Alerts as like the end all be all. And um, I'm trying to remember, there's another, there's another paid tool that's better than this, but I want to show you the gap in particularly because there is a website that is very popular that is known as Reddit. And I'm a big fan of using Reddit personally. I, I like it for news. I like it for information. I have a, a user account, Dream Firms on here. And just by chance, I'm subscribed to all the accounting, bookkeeping, tax subs, just like I tell you, hey, you should be subscribed to all of your subs, like anything related to your niche. You want to just at least have an ear towards the wind, what they're talking about, what's going on, what are the questions they're asking. Again, this is just like passive marketing that's really easy to get involved with. So the point is, is that there was a question in this tax pros group, and it says, <laughs> gurus and programs to bring automation and work to the next level. I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then, oh my God, my name was mentioned here. I was geeking out. This is the first time I've ever seen my name mentioned on my favorite website. I was like, that's me. I was like, that's about me. I've never seen this before. However, the reason I bring this up isn't to like geek out with you guys, but the reason I bring it up is that it did not display on my Google alert. So there is a limitation to what the alerts will be able to provide to you in terms of information about things that may be getting asked about you in different capacities. Now, if you're wondering, well, Tyler, if this doesn't cover that and you were able to find out about it, how am I gonna be able to find out about other things and other areas if Google Alerts doesn't cover it? There are other paid tools that are better than Google Alerts that will scan like everything. Um, Ilya, the founder of TaxDome, sent me one of them, and I can't remember its name off the top of my head. When I remember it, I'll drop it in the comment section down below. But the point here is that I was able, by chance, to see this and respond to it. Now, that's important, right? In other words, it makes me, when compared against potentially some of these other names on this list, if you're looking for marketing help and someone sees this and responds to it in a high-quality way, well, guess what ends up happening? No one else responded to it. So are their systems at the marketing level dialed in as well as mine? Now, again, complete transparency. This was pure luck that I caught this when it came out to be able to write the response that I did. But I do, I use this as an emphasis that Google Alerts is not perfect and certain things will fall through the cracks, okay? But it is a cool way to stay up to date on a variety of different uh, topics that you care about. It's also a good way to monitor a broad setting in terms of your firm name, your business, uh, your name, and really anything that you might wanna just, again, keep an, in, an ear towards. So listen, uh, that is going to bring us to the end of today's free tool Friday. Super simple tool, super easy to set up. It'll take you less than 10 minutes and you never know, might allow you to just get ahead of the curve on something that you were unaware of, some sort of news story, something inside of your industry, inside of your niche. But uh, I wanna just say one last thing very quickly that this is the last free tool Friday of 2020. A lot of people talk about wanting to erase or forget 2020. I don't wanna forget 2020 because I made a lot of fantastic relationships and those relationships mean the world to me with people who are proactive, just like you are. And it is just such an honor and a pleasure to have the opportunity to, to have an audience that's willing to come in, check this out, and more importantly, take that information and do something meaningful with it. So from me to you, I hope 2020 was something that you will 
it certainly was memorable, but we'll reflect positively on and maybe free tool Friday and, and your interactions with dream firms can hopefully play a part in that. And one way or another, we're going to help you make 2021 the best business year ever. So with that being said, have a fantastic holiday season. Make sure to take the time to really dial in those growth goals for 2021. And if you want to hit them, apply for our Create Your Dream Firm program. And I'd love to have the opportunity to elevate our working relationship and ultimately help you to create your dream firm. So I'll see each and every single one of you when we resume in 2021. Have a fantastic, fantastic holiday. And again, it's an absolute pleasure to, uh, to be able to serve this community. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful holiday, everyone. Talk to you later.